Okay, very quickly, we have several, oh, I like that. We have a couple of them that have already been cut. I got one, two, three, four, five. We're going to try three different experiments on this. Now, one of these actually has, I'll show it to you. All right, there you can see it actually. It has a horizontal cut. And we're going to leave that to see if we can get pups there. Or I might throw some vertical slices on the other side too to compare. We'll do that. I'm going to pull them all out and line them up and we'll take a look real quick. All right, let's get to it. We're going to take our, we'll do with the horizontal in there, and we're going to give it some vertical slices. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to cut down a little bit like that. The idea to see if maybe a stress event or a stimulus will induce any kind of pupping reaction. So there's our first one. Then we're going to have A, and A is going to get vertical slices. So, frame there. Go one, that's a big one, two, three, and four. You can see it's not terribly deep, probably less than an eighth of an inch. So A is verticals. that off with the alcohol paper towel. Now I'm going to use this because we're going to, this will be C, because we're going to cut it. That was just a coincidence. But I'm going to take off the aerials right there in the spines and see if that has a different effect. So one, Make sure we are getting aerials. Just barely nicked that one. Well, I'll take it. Right, two. That one. This is a small, small nick in it, right there on the very edge. Uh, let's see what else is close to the top that's vulnerable. Take that one. Ooh, that's a big chunk. I'll try to get it out. There we go. That took off a good sized chunk there. That might actually be. That was two sets. But that was three chunks off of there. I'm going to call that sufficient. And now we're going to do sort of V shaped incisions and actually remove some material. So scalpel would have been a better choice for this. I used a bigger blade because I wanted it to be fairly traumatic. As you can see, we're just digging out tissue there. Turn it around. Get in there. Up to the core. Well, not that much, but maybe. Oop, yep, we've hit the core. And again, it's all experimental. We should be using forceps for this and not that. All right. Let me get one more. What's a good prospect? Uh, let's try right there. Let's hit that down. Oh, actually, I think that was like I'm going to take the cut better. Okay. There. So that action. I'm just being kind of barbaric and mostly just prying that out. Ow. Cactus kisses. All right, and then there we go. Okay, everybody's back in their happy little home here. And I did throw in one more variable. I'm going to put a baggie at the bottom of that one to keep the roots a little bit more moist than its neighbors. But we have 
vertical slices and we also have the combo we have horizontal slices and then on the other side vertical slices then on this one you can see that we've removed the spines and the aerials from there and then on this one we took big old v-shaped chunks of tissue out of there so we're going to see if there's any variation but we're going to keep them in the tub so they all get the same light exposure and most of the same moisture and nutrients stay tuned The hell to go it's got a pimple thing it's good it could be could be hard to see yeah see there's pups everywhere this is pup town Woo, who let the dogs out oh that was horrible sorry